What's up everybody? Welcome to Thursday, January 26th? 27th. It's the 27th. Um, I posted my channel publicly, I think, more explicitly yesterday, so anticipating maybe some new viewers. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for supporting me. Um, I hope that you get something out of this. Um, I really just started doing this for my own sort of practice, um, but I've, you know, like a lot of things that I do, when other people benefit from it, I feel I feel those effects a lot more deeply than even if I was also benefiting from it, you know. So um, I do enjoy this a lot, and um, yeah, welcome, welcome to the playlist. There will be a, a channel soon. Uh, but in the meantime, um, I would just go ahead and follow my Grace Pasula YouTube and subscribe. Go ahead like the video. Um, you can hit the little bell to get notifications um, every morning when I post. And, um, and yeah, so let's see where we go today. Huh, first quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. Are we going to focus today? We're going to bones day? No bones day. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it says your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Uh, new moon Scorpio, work through your fears. New moon eclipse. Wow. Expect powerful change. The first thing I'm noticing is just the amount of purple in this spread. They're not all purple, but they are all moons. This is the Moonology deck, so every card is based on a um, either a moon phase or when um, you know new moons and full moons when they appear in specific parts of the sky, known as the zodiacs. Right? Oh, interesting. Your commitment is being tested. Work through your fears. Expect powerful change. So this is about doing shadow work for sure. Scorpio is all about the shadowy aspects of self. This does feel like maybe a continuation of last yesterday's reading, um, but that's 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 been my experience of things anyway. When I do these daily readings, there might be things that come up, you know, on any day that are unique messages for today, and maybe they do line up to our perceived linear time table, time frame, uh, but sometimes not, because, you know, maybe you're not watching this on the day it was published. And anyway, um, the messages on the table right now, I guess, are just very similar to yesterday's as well. Your commitment is being tested, as in, do you want the thing that you really want? Um, the thing you're giving your energy into is that really what you are looking for or is it um, fulfilling some other um, for lack of a better word shallower need or desire so you might wake up today or maybe you recently have realized that the thing you have been sort of eyeing is, is really no longer the prize um, maybe the prize here is your own sort of peace because it says here to work through your fears, as in whatever is coming to the surface now um, is showing you something valuable about how you're showing up for yourself, let's say. And then the new moon eclipse, I believe the last new moon eclipse we had was last November, and it was, um, for many astrologers, like the uh, entryway into a portal if you will, and a portal uh, that has lasted, in my opinion, up until basically now. So, this Saturday, Venus goes direct, next Wednesday, or Thursday, whatever the third is, um, Mercury goes direct, and then we won't have any more retrogrades, and things, I think, will feel like they've landed somewhere. So, if this is the last-ditch effort to change your mind as to what it is you're actually trying to accomplish this year, that that is what I'm sensing here. 
it's almost like you've it's this is the energy of like you've nearly settled and then you realized you were settling and then you're like hell no once you clear the fears out of the way you can see more clearly the thing that you actually want but you're too afraid to say aligning yourself with that desire and confronting the fear that is what leads to powerful change the new moon eclipse there we go it's focusing now that that's what leads to powerful change so let's see what the tarot has to say um, also you know I'm noticing the purple color purple is the color of intuition and wisdom so this is almost about listening to your own inner guidance underneath we have the four of cups two of cups four of wands judgment king of swords strength ten of wands high priestess there's there's the intuition uh, seven of swords and the eight of pentacles interesting so what I'm seeing here is that in the past um, you might have had an idea of what kind of partner you want um, you know two of the cup two of cups is about the truth of the soul's exchange and it doesn't have to be about love but it what well, when we think about soulmates we think about love and, and partnership in that way it doesn't have to be necessarily but anyway the king of swords is the highest level of discernment highest level of sort of like the mind and so you may have had in the past a very good idea of the kind of partner that you want or how you want to show up for others and you know who it is you want in your life in, in any regard this is part of your deep knowing your intuition your wisdom this is this has been felt very deeply very personally by you oh boy and we have here then the four of the four of wands this is commitment again so I, f I do feel like for some people this is uh, maybe a fear of commitment um, and or just this I'm, I'm also mm, <clears throat> Venus has been in retrograde so it's just they say it's just like not a really good time to start new relationships anyway so I feel like this could have been a um, this might be for somebody who regardless if you know about the retrograde or not just has been feeling uh, in the present moment that um, some some kind of commitment is not available like somebody seems out of reach um, in the dead center strength this is about compassion for oneself strength really comes from compassion in the face of fear so what is being called to be healed right now is maybe how what are you committed to because again the seven of the seven of swords then is here is the card of deception but I don't I don't think anyone's trying to deceive you just that you yourself may have this may be a flavor of self-deception see how he's like walking away with the swords and some people are camping in the background I love this deck I want to be camping this is this could be a flavor of self-deception as in is commitment what I want or Am I really looking for a partner to fulfill me um, because I, I can't seem to be whole on my own? Those are the fears, right? The current fears that are being worked through. Why is it, why is it that I want a partner to uh, answer to my needs? Why can't I take care of myself? And so expecting powerful change here then in the future I love how the work that's being done is to like is 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 on these burdens that which is has has felt very heavy for a while um, the message of the ten of wands is is um, yes like look at you go you can handle a lot of shit like you're you're a pack mule essentially um, <laughs> an, an emotional pack mule or you know or maybe you just have a lot of responsibility and maybe you have a lot of ideas that you think are all worth pursuing uh, but it's just taking a lot of your energy because then the eight of pentacles here is about work and our skills and maybe this propensity for us to constantly be working uh, constantly to be productive even when we don't have to be okay so this is again just the perception of our motives and what we actually desire 
do you want to be busy all the time? Like to some extent that you, that it, that, be, that it, it feels like a burden. Where are you wasting your energy? And that's what judgment means. Judgment, judgment is here to sort of, um, uh, in the traditional deck, there is an angel at the top with a trumpet, which means you are protected, but also you need to answer the call of the trumpet as in your inner wisdom, your intuition is trying to tell you something. You're working too hard at something. <clears throat> And the answers you seek are actually within reach because they're inside of you. You don't have to really reach outside for, for some sort of answer. This is a very interesting reading. Uh, I have my lemniscate every time the, lem the lemniscate has been showing up in the readings. There's, I believe, three cards with a lemniscate. Where is my focus? There it is. It's on the strength card, so I'm going to put it on there. Lemniscate is the infinity symbol. Yeah, so think about if you're, for this reading, if you're reaching out for some sort of answer to something and it is a source of uh, fear or anxiety for you, why are you waiting for something? This may be the four of, that's why this is the four of cups underneath. You see how the ace of cups is being offered? And this, what is it, an antelope? Is sort of... Um, this, this card is taken sort of like uh, closing yourself off from any external energy. Um, something is trying to come in, like so either some sort of guidance or wisdom or an opportunity, and you're just, you're not available for it. And so I don't see this in this case as an external thing, but an internal one. The cups represent that which is right in front of us, our emotions. The, it's like what our inner world is really trying to express to our waking mind. And so that energy is one that's that's closed off. Because you know what you want, but do you? Are you, you know, what is this fear of commitment? What is this, what is, why are you working so hard? You know, so those are the things that I'm seeing in the reading that are very curious. Um, in any case, it, it does seem that like once you're able to see your own patterns, um, oh, interesting, right? I forgot that the first card said your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to what? What is it that you're committing to right now? And is it changing? Are you responding to an, an external influence that says this is what you want? You know, society does that, media does that. Social media does that. And so that can be a great cause of anxiety, is to look at somebody else and say, they're doing this, I need to be doing this. And that's not true at all. It's like Amy Poehler's book, which, by the way, I did not read, but I love the pull quote, which is which somebody else grabbed from the book that I also just resonated with, and it was, good for her, not for me. Just this idea that we can be happy for other people and, and what they're doing, while at the same time acknowledging that we have our own unique path. That is the truth of the soul's exchange, is showing up as your unique self to anything that you do. King of Swords is also truth. Deep knowing intuition. This is information, wisdom, knowledge that only you can access. And this looks to be the foundation of whatever change is occurring for you now. You may feel um, deep inside that you're, you know, on some subconscious level that you can't yet trust your intuition. So that is the work that maybe needs to be done. Try flexing your intuitive muscles. That's how I started with tarot. I said, I have messages. Messages are coming in to me. I don't know where this information is coming from. It's not from my brain. It's another sense. It's an intuitive sense. And sometimes I could, sometimes, you know, <laughs> I've experienced like willing things into existence at times. It's something as simple as, I wonder if they'll have strawberry cake. Well, then they have strawberry cake. And my roommate was sort of like, holy shit, you made that happen. Sometimes people just have strawberry cake too, you know. Um, but it really comes down to just what you believe. Do you believe that you have the ability to 
grasp and understand your own intuition and to use it as guidance for your own unique personal journey. This might be showing up in your life on a more, you know, conscious level that you're questioning or rather assessing what you're committed to, who you're committed to, who's your family, who, who gets you and, and all that. You know, that's, that's sort of what I'm seeing. This is like, for a lot of people, this might be about love very well because it's the four of, two of cups, four of wands, judgment. Retrograde is about past lovers coming back to, I was gonna say haunt you, but that's not the case, just say hello. And that might, prov that might be a way to get even more information about um, something you thought was healed, but actually isn't, and now is being coming, and now in, in a more physical sense is being coming up, surfacing to be healed. And so this is the present moment here. The present moment. The King of Swords, Strength, and the Ten of Wands. Truth, compassion, you know, and the Ten of Wands, this is like about the burdens that we carry, but the message of it is to delegate some things. Stop taking on um, things that aren't yours, or even if they are yours, you have to realize at some point it's okay to let some things go. That's how you can have compassion for yourself, is just to forgive yourself and say, forgive myself for taking on this burden. I didn't know better. And now I know that I don't have to. I can, you know, wash yourself clean a bit. And you know, and you make space. You make space because what wants to come in, this cup is like, this is the Ace of Cups, this new beginning, emotional fulfillment. The Three of Cups down here is about celebration. It's an interesting card, isn't it? Just like going to go sit underneath a tree. Uh, yeah, but anyway, no clarifications today. I think this was a pretty, pretty straightforward read. And um, let me know what you think. Have a good day.